Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and this is not a Bible journaling video, but I think you guys who follow this channel might be really interested in this. It's a VBS that I went to this week at my church, and they asked me to help because they wanted an art theme. So I brought Brusho. It's this powdered pigment, and we got canvases for them. These are 16 by 20s. I think they're a little large, and I'll explain why later. But the kids had so much fun spraying and sprinkling the powder. Each classroom had about eight colors and we had two stations in the back where the kids would share the eight colors so we didn't have to have a ton. Well, I guess that's still a ton. They're not, they're not inexpensive paints. Let's just put it that way. You could probably do with less colors for each child and just give them maybe three per classroom. Anyway, you sprinkle the powder and then spray or you spray and then sprinkle. It works both ways. And this pigment is really strong, really powerful. It does dry lighter than it goes on, but it's gorgeous. And the effects the kids can get are amazing. And they were so tickled with it when they saw it. Some of the kids would scream from the back room, I got fireworks or I got a jungle. And they would just be so, so, so excited to have somebody come and see what they just made. They, they were just beside themselves. And my passion was to help them to see themselves as creative and that God would release those gifts in them. You know, the VBS had lots of other things. They were teaching the theme of, of who I am in Christ. And we'll get to that in the later part of this project. But that was my passion for that. this. I wanted to release them in their creativity. And like this little kid was tipping his canvas and getting these beautiful stripes and getting the color to move. And all the kids had different things they did. The, the canvases were phenomenal. And it, it just exceeded my wildest dreams, what they did. And it was such a beautiful thing. So really all you need is the paint. You need uh, spray bottles and boxes, lots of boxes. Now we tried to find boxes for these 16 by 20 canvases. And the 16 by 20 is a really hard size to find that many boxes for. If we'd had maybe an eight by eight or a 10 by 10 canvas, I think we would have had better luck with the boxes. So that was a challenge. We had like 300 kids. That's a lot of boxes to find, but look at the pigments they, they put on here. And I mean, it's just amazing. Every single one is unique. So many scriptural lessons that can be drawn from this, from the process, from the creation. And what they did with this afterward, this was day one. We set them in this big room to dry. So you can kind of see how many there are here. And then the next day they glued on little mirrors and on the mirror they wrote, I am. And then we had wooden pieces that they could glue on that said, I am precious or I am sweet or I am kind or I am loved or whatever God was telling them that they are so that they can hang this up and know I am and what they are in Christ. So... I just wanted to give you a little walk around the room and give you an idea of what can be done. This was my favorite. This little boy made this thing and he had, like when we were all ooing and aahing, he had no idea why we were ooh and aahing. He thought it was cool, but he didn't think it was as good as it is. And it's, it's worthy of purchase. I would love to buy it. He glued on his little heart and his little mirror at the top. I'm glad he didn't cover it with lots of other things because it's so incredible. I just was blown away by this one and if I knew him better and could figure out how to buy it from him, I would have because it's phenomenal. And I'm going to be playing with the brush show to see if I can find how he created this effect because whatever he did was amazing. So let's talk a little bit about the paint themselves because now I've got you curious and you want to know what to do. Well, you buy them individually by the color. You can buy a whole box with a bunch of different colors in it. They come in these little bottles, but they don't have a shaker top. So how did I get the shaker top? Well, I put a little thumbtack in the top. Well, big thumbtack. It's easier to grab a big thumbtack so don't get little ones. Get the nice big honking ones. I got them at Office Depot. And all you do is shake a little powder. Look how few crystals there are. And just a tiny, tiny bit goes so far. And look at how beautiful that is. That's why the kids loved it so much. This was the box that I bought. I just pulled a little piece of a video that I made when I first got these. And that's the whole set of colors and how I kind of put all the tops on them. So I'll show you real quickly. I took a piece of watercolor paper. I put this double stick tape on the back so that I could make a sticker to put on the top with the color. And it's a one inch hole punch. So I punched my circles. Well, now I had to figure out how to get from that bottle that has no hole in it to get this thing painted. If you stick it on right now, you can't get in the bottle to get the paint out. So you need to paint them off of it. First, poke a hole in it, 
with it with thumb, thumbtacks so you can make it into a shaker and then dump out some of the pigment so you can make a little pile of paint that you can then paint the lid with. You could do these without coloring the lids, but then the kids won't know what color they're grabbing. So it's most helpful to them for that and for you as well. So if you're buying these for yourself, it's a good thing to do. It's just a little tedious of a process. Now I set that aside to dry because I wanted to spray this black and kind of show you what the black bursts into. It's like blue and orange. And it's a great art lesson for the kids, how many colors are in black and like the greens burst into yellows and blues. So it's a wonderful moment for an art lesson. So after it was dry, I peeled off the sticky on the back of my little circle and then I can repunch my hole right through it and it's ready to go for little fingers. And they didn't have any trouble um, putting the thumbtacks in and taking them out and everything. They did just fine with them, but they, had a blast and I think you will too if you decide to get these because they are phenomenal. You can either do the sprinkling first and then paint and, and then do the water or you can go the opposite direction and you can put the water down first and drop paint into it and you get different effects, different things that you do. You can They picked up their canvases and they rolled them around. They let the water mix all these colors together and just make like visual fireworks. So the other art project from this VBS was another one they asked me to make. They wanted a group project that all the kids could participate in. So what we came up with was this big cross that they could add prayers to. There's each one of those little colored pieces is a prayer from one of the children. And to make this, I had the facilities people, they, they like to make things for the drama team. So they had these extra panels from drama sets and they kind of stuck them together. So it was an eight by eight. I took some yarn and just marked off the cross. I tried to make mine smaller in the center. I tried to make a little unique shape, ended up changing that to a straight cross in the long run. But nonetheless, you can kind of see how it went. I stuck black tissue paper in there. We had to find places where we could buy like a thousand sheets of black tissue paper because there's several hundred in each one of those corner quadrants to really fill them up and make them really thick. You need a lot of them um, for something this size. But you can see the kids, they wrote their prayers, they wrapped it in a piece of the tissue and they all squished them in different ways. It was kind of like, I wanted them all to be fluffy, but it's okay because they made this absolute garden on the cross. It was so amazing watching them put them on there. And then they brought their parents over and pointed to the one that they put on there. And they said, that's my prayer. And they had a sit down with their parents. And I think they told them, I wasn't listening in, but they told them what they prayed for. And that was precious. So one more thing to share. This little guy was my buddy the whole time. He was having some stress over the way his art had dried. So I was working with him. By the end, he was so convinced he was an artist, I asked him to do a self-portrait of him as an artist, and that's what he drew. And I thought that was very sweet. So that's all I had to share for today. I thought it would be an inspirational idea for your next VBS, or if you do homeschooling or anything, you might enjoy doing something with Brusho. There's links to all the products and stuff if you want to go find them online. Just a few places I found, and then you can go look on your own for other sources as well. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.